All right, everybody, how are you doing? Welcome back to Ask an E-Commerce Specialist. Now, today's episode, joining me uh, today, not from my team, which is awesome. I love this. And now I keep getting excited because, again, I keep saying I'm excited, but I am always am because uh, I get to new, meet new people. I get to ma make awesome introductions, uh, you know, help e-commerce businesses out. Uh, but everybody today joining me today is Nando Cabal Mendez, an e-commerce yes. specialist and consultant. How you doing, bud? Doing really good. Doing so you're really based good. out of Austin, right? Yes, yes. Loving it here in Austin and uh, staying busy and staying safe. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Hey, stay safe, stay healthy, remain informed. But yeah. my newest thing, Nando, is I keep telling me to remain informed. But I was like, at this point, I've gotten a lot more feedback from my team and other people. So shut off the news. Stop watching the news for a little while, you know. <laughs> um, hopefully, everybody out there, uh, if, if, you're, if you're joining me, hopefully you've gotten your stimulus check. Hopefully things are starting to look up, you know, here in New York. Nando, I mean, I don't know if you know, but our curves are starting to flatten. They're peaking. We're yeah, still on good. a very long road, but... Uh, it is what it is. Like, how's everything going on for you, man? Like, tell me a little bit about what's going on with your life and, and coronavirus. And then just every, for everybody out there, give me a little background on, on who Nando is. All right. So I, um, I currently work actually for Tippet LLC. Tippet is a developer, uh, development, web development agency. Um, I am the e-commerce specialist there um, because that is my background. Previously, I had my own agency. I started in, uh, back in 2008. Kind of those things where it was a side gig e-commerce i started using sure, sure. Uh, was wasala and uh and a wordpress website and uh during that time and during that effort i realized you know that i was pretty good at marketing it so eventually my career went more down the e-commerce marketing uh, direction and marketing in general and then kind of came about full circle about 2016 um, I was looking at big commerce new offer, you know, the change to uh, stencil and all that, and started getting interested in it, and um, and I basically just circled back into e-commerce um, at that point, um, looking at different solutions. But uh, you know, I am a big commerce partner, uh, Shopify partner, and I work on WooCommerce. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Which uh, I'm not not gonna ask you your favorite one. Um, you know, <laughs> oh yeah, no, yeah. don't. <laughs> That's a, it's okay. I mean, like they're all great. They all have their uh, you know, they all have uh, really great features. Yeah. I mean, obviously, if you're in WooCommerce, it, it, and a lot of people, big commerce and WooCommerce can work together through headless e-commerce. Um, all offer different types. I mean, I have friends of yeah. mine that are gonna be starting a Shopify store. I have another buddy of mine who wants to start another store, and I told him like, you know, check yeah. out these x number of platforms you know yeah and that's why that's that's always been my focus coming from the consulting point of view um i think uh if you ask me which one is the best one i would have said the best one for the context you yes. know for the best one for the particular business in the particular situation that they are um because um and that's part of what i worked on the list it's like i don't i don't you know i don't care what you use at this point, if it's the best solution for you, go for it. Um, I think that's important because it's easy to get married to uh, the solutions that we like or that we like to work with. Yeah, of course. Uh, but uh, but that doesn't really help, uh, you know. No, because you know what I always see is like the the, the pitfall for a lot of e-commerce business owners is they'll start on one platform and not necessarily know what they're getting into. Um, right. And that's to say that the platform, it's not the platform's problem or, you know, or the software, mm -hmm. uh, software issue. It, it has to do with the retailer themselves. They, they had certain expectations or they didn't necessarily have the right expectations for how oh, yeah. the, the direction that their business was going. Um, and then they go through a uh, replatforming, which yeah. I think replatforming is one of the scariest things that, especially for e-commerce businesses, can possibly go through, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's a, uh, again, that one's again, very much dependent on context. I think uh, sometimes it's overblown the worry and the concern um, in the hands of a of a good team or a reliable you know partner. Yeah, of um, course. They should be no more than a little inter you know a slight interruption between you know when the when you change the name server and you know propagation. That's it. Right. Um, yeah. I mean that that that's the ideal scenario. Um, but I think uh, oftentimes you know. A lot of people want to go into e-commerce or, you know, just sell online. And yeah, one is the expectations, which are um, 
can be really wild, you know, in terms of like, uh, you know, the idea that if you build it, they will come. Yeah, thing, yeah. Right. And the other one is they want to jump into all the marketing tools and all the little things. And I want a chatbot. I want a, you know, no, I want the review app. I want the, you know, all these things for which they really don't have a plan. Right. And without a strategy, no tool is going to do anything. Um, so, um, so I try to pull them back into the context of where they are right now and the clarity that we can add on any of these platforms. We can add uh, and, and iterate and grow as long, along with, with our business and the capabilities to do these things. Yeah, of course. Sometimes that's, they're really that's excited about it. Yeah. yeah, without the capability to say uh, manage ads, um, yeah, I'll install your Facebook pixel, but hooray, that's not really going to get you anywhere. Right. <laughs> now you need a catalog. Now you need dynamic product ads. Now you need, uh, yeah. now, now you want to do like ones. Now you do want to do video ads. Now you do want to Google and then Microsoft. And then yeah. it starts to like really pile on. No, yeah. you know, it's because I, I, I've, I hear that almost from, from e-commerce specialists, consultants that have been doing this for a long time. Mm-hmm. I think the one thing I always hear is don't overdo it you know start small measure your return on ads you know return your roi your return on investment on what you're doing um and then build upon that but you know don't ever forget about customer loyalty customer experience and um and lifetime value you know yeah start selling yeah yeah yeah. (laughs) get your products out there get them in front of shoppers you know and i guess it, it comes from um so I'm a planner. I like to strategize and plan. Um, but I also work with a very talented team that are very hard into agile development. As and if you we. come from the development work, you realize, wait a minute, this applies to an e-commerce business. This applies to design. Uh, this applies to uh, very many um, aspects of the business. And actually, in a way, most small businesses are kind of run in an agile way where they start doing this one thing and then they expand on this one, they try others, it fails, they, they shut it down and move right. on to the next thing, right? So why not, why can't we follow that same approach um, in getting them online, um, which results in a lot easier and quicker thing too. Um, it's, uh, if you get caught up in planning and wanting to launch, uh, you know, with a massive launch, um, it, it can just take too long for some of them to even survive in the current situation. Most of them yeah, just of need to be online this weekend. You know, that's it. Yeah, of course. And, and you know, a lot of that stuff can really get lost in translation. It can get, it, it can get lost within the mix of all the things. And then again, like if they start to overdo it or over or pile on uh, what they're already trying to do, it can just have d- dramatically negative effects on their business. Just getting started up right now. Yeah. And many yeah, businesses, just, obviously, yeah. you know, this is just what, what's going on in the world is crazy. So um, <laughs> I think a lot of, and I've heard of a lot of businesses that e-commerce or at least uh, people that want to get into e-commerce right now mm-hmm. and they have this dream or this, 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 uh, they're imagining this experience and, and I've, and I've, and I've spoken with them and I've tried to temper their, their, expe- you know, expectation. I said, you know, it's, right. it's a tough time. Um, you can it's still fun. do it. It's not like you can't. Right. Um, but you have to do it the smart way. Yeah, and uh, for instance, in, in the context of, of this checklist and what it's for, a lot of businesses that are not online have not uh, considered, say, something simple like their shipping. You know, how are they going to fulfill these orders? Of course. Um, and uh, how are they going to track it and how, you know, how important is it and, uh, you know, if they're going to ship. Uh, if they're doing uh, pickup, well, do they have a, a simple workflow, but something figured out in their own store for that pickup. Is it feasible? I mean, do you can you do curbside parking if you're in a like a high traffic area? Um, how do you modify that? What what can you do about it? And those are not really uh, e-commerce questions. Those are business questions. Where you know, yeah, how course. do you serve the client? And then you add the, the e-commerce layer to sell more. And that's uh. And, but those are those are consultations that I've, I mean, I've, I've helped clients figure out things like uh, the layout of the place where they're mm-hmm. going to wrap things up and uh, the containers they're going to need to actually do this. Sure, of uh, course. A lot of restaurants were just not set up for takeout, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, there, and there are restaurants that are like literally just opened 
and and then yeah. they had to suddenly switch. We have a, a, a an Italian place that opened up not too not down the block. It actually was one place and it closed, and then it reopened under a new name. Yeah. Um, and yesterday we found it on the weekends that they do um, curbside uh, brick oven pizza and like to go mm-hmm. like 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 a drive through almost. So they like kind of like figured it out, but they can't do yeah. it often enough that it. So now you have people on Facebook and and online saying like, why aren't you doing this every day? Because they can only do it Saturdays and Sundays at this point. It's um, it's very right. interesting. Yeah. Um, but I mean, that's kind of how we connected. You know, we were part of, we we're part mm-hmm. of the e-commerce community, and the first thing you did was share this. I mean, incredibly in-depth and high-level checklist. And I mean, probably one of the best ones I've ever seen. Period. And hey, I've, I've, I don't know how many. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I don't know how many of these I've seen before or read. But you really jumped in and you dove into here and and i'm going to share i'm obviously going to share this but i'm going to share this on our screen here so some get a little bit of a shot of it so people can see it um just a, cool. just a trim i'm not giving the whole thing but you can get the you know i'm going to be sharing the link and and obviously some information to get a hold of con uh, uh nando yeah. here to um learn more about it but um tell me a little bit more about the this checklist that you built and 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 especially like the exhaustive effort that you must have gone through <laughs> time and, and, and energy it took to really build this. Cause this is really like how to get started in e-commerce 101. Yeah. And like 25 pages later, I'm like, I'm an e-commerce specialist now. I, I get it. I'm an expert. <laughs> um, it was, it was, it was more work than I even anticipated. Um, <laughs> Cause uh, at some point, like a ha- about like halfway through the work, I realized, Oh, this is where we start talking about actually getting the store built. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, I mean, what I did is I looked at materials that I've built in my own, you know, and as a project manager, I have a, you know, have a list of like, you know, you know, tasks and, you know, subtasks that need to happen for us to be able to put a store together in the first place. And these things sometimes are actually the client's uh, tasks. Um, so I, I looked through that and I figured, well, how do I make this a little more user friendly? How do I put some, how do I put some, uh, what do you call it? Just, just how do I help this person who you know, never like made some, this decision? Yeah. You know, yeah. Made the right call. And he said, well, I need to be in conversation about it. I need to say, Hey, but if you're doing this or if you're doing that. Um, and, uh, so I gathered up a lot of the materials and started like rehashing them in this, in this format. Um, and then uh, I also had the my local SEO checklist I have from back when I had my own agency. Oh, that was by the way, I'm not doing nothing. I love the e-commerce stuff. The local SEO part is probably my favorite part of the whole thing it's because so it's those oh, pff, crucial, absolutely crucial. It's crazy important. It blows my mind how very. Uh, I mean, I always tell businesses, listen, if you do this, you probably the the. Be, I mean, there's probably less than 10% of business doing that. So if you do this, you're ahead of the curve. That's it. This yeah. one thing can get you ahead. And by doing it also, they have the opportunity to like expand their, like the product lines or the menus and have that online. Um, so I figured it's a must do because this is really targeted for, uh, uh, you know, brick and mortar, what we call brick and mortar businesses mm-hmm. to like that, that like, e-commerce. Like we product. said, like offline to on. You know, right. and, and you know, the part of the community we were in that was kind of like the drive is we're trying to help e-commerce businesses or even brick and mortar right. businesses become digital because now if you're not digital, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, I think, I think that, uh, that if there was any doubt or any argument about the importance, uh, I think that's settled now. Oh, God, um, yes. <laughs> so, but I also understand it's been so sudden. A lot of businesses are not going to have the budget or the time to even contact uh, some of the volunteers that are helping them set up. Of course. So I feel, well, I'm just going to put the list. They can get started. I mean, I love the, the first part, the let's get started section. It really <laughs> is about, it's really, it's about getting prep. It's preparation yeah. for building a store. Um, you can, you can surf through it real quick. Um, a lot of them may have some of these things. A lot of them may, um, just by looking at the list, go like, okay, I got this, I got this, I got this. And just uh, run through it. But it is really important because those decisions and those materials, assets, uh, like you need uh, decisions about, uh, you know, domain names and, uh, and uh, how do you want to implement it along with an existing website or make a new one, that kind of stuff. Um, it's going to come up. 
So to go into that conversation already with all that knowledge, um, even if you do hire as a business, if they do hire someone to do it, they're going to be ready to go, you know, hit you know, the proverbial floor running. It's just like, yeah, of go, course. do it. Yeah, because ready. you can, I mean, like my whole thing was like, as you said, like you can, you check off what you do have and then you set that aside right. for whoever you're going to work with. If you wind up working with, or even if you wind up working with the platform themselves. So if you work with a big commerce or right. Shopify and you, you reach out to their staff and you ask for help from them, you right. can easily say just from this checklist, which is, Another reason why I loved it so much was that I have this, 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 and this, and here it is. Right. Um, it's here it all is. Bolted up. It's zipped up. Here you go. All done. Do it for right. me. Um, Check. And then there are all these other things that I'm not necessarily aware of, or I don't know as much about, mm -hmm. and therefore I do need some guidance and leadership on this. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I sure hope. I mean that that's how it works. At first, um, that whole getting started section it is extensive. And it can be a little intimidating. Um, but you chaptered um, it. So, I mean, if but it, it's, they, uh, you can go, I mean, I, personally, what I did is, and, and sure, coming from somebody that, that's in the space and understands it, sure. Right. But I just, I, I skipped. I went to like all different, I didn't go in a particular mm -hmm. pattern. I didn't go in a particular order. Uh, okay. It's funny because they're like, I went to get started and I was like, oh, local SEO. Let me go and check out the local. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. And then I went back to the middle and then I went back to the top and then I read it all the way through. And I said this, yeah, yeah, I, I would, if, nice. if, you, if you're not using something like this, you're not, you're not adapting something like this into your, into your development strategy. Like, and this is something I think you can even fall back on that you've already done all these things, but where can you begin to improve? You know, right. even if you have something checked off, what more can you potentially do with this very same product or tool? You know? Yeah. 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 I, I mean, I keep it, I keep it, a. Uh you know, open, you know, for continuous re revisions. Mm -hmm. um, like right now I was looking at a, I think it's a rather new, well, it's new to me. I didn't know about this app. Uh, they call Talk, uh, T-O-C-K. So I'm researching, I just downloaded, I was downloaded the app before jumping on this call just to get a sense of what it is. Um, they basically just provide the service to place the orders uh, where the businesses continue to manage the actual fulfillment themselves. Um, so that would be like a e really easy alternative, um, but they do take a percentage of the sale. So um, every one of these has a, you know, plus or minus. I do offer a couple of resources that are free or free to get started. Um, some of them are free and just continuously free. Um, one of the ones in the list, uh, Gloria Foods, has a, like a weird name, but it's a really solid solution um, because they make their money on additional services, which is a very common scenario. Anytime we use free services, sure, of um, course. that just means they're going to help sell, try to upsell you in something. Yeah. Um, well, there's going to be ancillary products or going to be right. upgrades. You're going to be things that, and, and an right. example is kind of how we we're modeled. Uh, we're modeled in a, in a free model as well, but we don't, it's not a trial. Right. It's, it could be eternally free. Right. Um, whether you want to manage ads or just run product feeds, um, but for the right business owners, they can just choose and select what they want. They don't right. necessarily have to be, you know, governed under, uh, like strict plans, X number of limits. You know, it's, it's, we right. try to keep things very flexible. I think it's important for e-commerce business owners to, to pay attention to every app and product they begin to use yeah. is to read the fine print, to understand how the product works. Not only that, but how is mm -hmm. it going to, how are you going to have to deal with upgrades or challenges or, or, or support and, right. and things along those lines. Yeah, I man, that's, that's, that's where the, so I, I was, I talk about the ability to expand on these and uh, the, the agile nature of e-commerce, uh, but it really does help to step back and look at something like this list or use your imagination to anticipate what you may need um, because you do want to make sure that this is going to help you in the future, that in the future you can expand whatever services this does. Sure, right? of course. By using these third-party apps. Um, a lot of e-commerce relies on third-party apps for, for the specifics of, say, uh, like even like, uh, you know, some people are surprised when I work on e-commerce and, and I tell them, well, you know, yeah, you can handle your shipping, you have an in-house solution, you can use Shipper HQ. And they say, well, why would I need that? He said, well, it depends on how... <laughs> 
<laughs> exactly. Because if you, it's shipping. You just, you just, it's a box. It yeah, to, I just, I just know. put it in my trunk and I drive, I drive it to the guy's house, right? I'm like, Three dimensions, volume, go. You know, I can do yeah, flat yeah. shipping. It's like, yeah, if you're doing flat shipping, then doesn't, that doesn't apply. But they have like special, you know, use cases. Like a lot of, a lot of e-commerce platforms are non-natively uh, ideal for like, say, delivery businesses. Right, right. And, and, they, and, and they go like, well, yeah, I guess, yeah, you can process orders, you can do all that. But there's no way to natively limit the geographical area where you can deliver. And that is just a super important factor of, of delivery businesses. For sure. Um, for pickup, maybe not so much because if someone from, say, you know, here in, in Dallas says they want to pick up from one of the restaurants here in Austin, they're going to have to pay for that food and do a four hour trip to pick it up. But that's kind of their problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. You figure it out. <laughs> yeah, it's their problem. They, you know, they bought it. But um, um, yeah, so, so again, the, the context of what, what is, where is this business and where do they need to get to, um, you know, to, to, to start selling and, you know, succeed online. Um, that's what I try to address here in, um, in the very context of where we are right now. Yeah. That's so, it. He, the man yeah. said it. He, he, success checklist done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I really would love to hear of like someone that implements uh, this and uh, just, just to hear that they did and they got it. Well, right. yeah, of course. And I, and I'm, I've, I've shared it with my team so that everybody on our team can, mm -hmm. You know, we, we see them all the time, but I obviously hadn't seen one of the depth and breadth that you had done this with. And I already gotten feedback and comments right. like, you know, A, the guy, you know, they love that we get to, you know, have these awesome video chats and, and talk to specialists and, and all different, you know, arenas, so to speak. Um, but it's like when we get these like tangible uh, use cases or, or, or content that we can actually like employ in our own use case, you know, because we have many businesses that come to us and they'll have these questions. Um, and if they're speaking to, you know, saying, let's say they're speaking to, you know, John, for example, John may not necessarily be a hundred percent well-versed in this particular area, but you know, um, Brianna is really, really good at this and she keyed right. in on it and then said, Hey John, did you check this out? And did he read it? And then he reads it and does his own research, comes back. It's like, right. okay, we've, we've been able to expand our knowledge with even just with this, uh, checklist that you've shared with us. So I thank you very much. Wow. For that. That's awesome. Thank you. Well, I appreciate it. That's those are really it's kind like, of words. You deserve it. It was it was awesome, and 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 I'm and I'm hoping everybody gets to read this. I'm definitely going to share it. It's going to be in the video. You're going to get to see it a little bit. Um, uh, it's going. I'm I'm definitely casting this over on social and on our blog. I'm hoping that this can help Thank the you. offline to on uh, off the online community. Um, cool. Uh, Nando, uh, before I before we go before we we cut out here you know what I mean like that we're almost at time I just wanted to get your perspective on like some of the things that I think that you think that you feel from your perspective and and what you, how long you've been doing this some of the things that e-commerce business owners should be doing or should be looking to even after all this is said and done like let's just take our put our imagination imagination hats on you know the country opens back up and. I'm going to be extremely conservative here and say like nine months, you know, <laughs> yeah. which is scary, but true. Yeah. Every time, every day I wake up now, I say, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's a new week. And I'm like, it's going to be many more weeks. <laughs> um, yeah. So I've given this some, some thought because, um, good. <clears throat> let's see. The, the challenge now is that a lot of, a lot of them, you know, got to cut, got cut by surprise. And it's never, it's never ideal to do this in a situation of survival or desperation. So I would strongly recommend first that they, they I mean, they, 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 they take the time, even if it sounds contradictory, just take the time, take a couple of days, take a few days to plan this out in your head. How do you see this working? Um, if it's even worth it. Um, because my context, for instance, here, like normally for e-commerce business, people are going in business, they're, they're already healthy, they already have a business going, they're just expanding. And, um, and they may realize that they need to expand their marketing some, you know, and, um, and expand on their social, expand on the, on the paid advertising to promote this. Um, my hope here is that a lot of these, um, the clients that I'm targeting here, I think they're already 
recognize brands in their local area. They just don't have the tools to sell. Yep. So there's nothing that I would love more than to hear that a certain store that I just love visiting is now has, you know, curbside pickup. And, um, and then that really helps us, you know, who can maybe, you know, buy, buy local instead of buy from the big A, you know, sure, and, sure. Uh, sure. because uh, that's it. I mean, that's pretty much where, where a lot of people are getting, uh, you know, most of their products. Um, I was, just this morning I was looking at, I think I shared it on LinkedIn is uh, how e-commerce uh, consumption of non-essential products has increased by a very strong percentage in this short time. Yeah, shirts are up, bottoms are down. <laughs> once a, yeah, and once, a, once that becomes the norm, which is happening right now, um, these smaller stores that are boutiques, that are, you know, that are like just specialized or niches and the like, uh, they need to step up the game real quick and to go in a huge marketplace would not be the best for them um, only because they're going now into where the depth of the competition is and they are not known as a brand. But if I know as a local regional fan of, you know, of, of theirs that they now are online, not only am I going to purchase as one of their customers, I'm going to also tell others. They say, oh, yeah, did you know? Like such and such. Yeah, they're not online. Like, yeah, it's, it's the coolest thing. And, uh, and um, that's the same way they probably grew originally. So they just need to repeat that online. And yeah, online you have other tools and you got your social and you got your, your advertising. But, uh, but they can just capitalize on being already known. Mm -hmm. You know, like awesome. I'm looking, actively looking for to buy these things locally. And I think of a store and it's like, ah, they close. They yeah, like, right. But they and they don't have a, a an online and presence. They don't have an online store. Yeah. I, so I could. I wish I could order that that uh, yeah. you know dehumidifier. Or, you know the, right. the that new pair of sneakers buy. or whatever it was. You know. Right, and that's the thing. So, yeah, I, I, you know, there's a, the local boot store. I mean, um, I mean, they have a store, but <laughs> the local boot shop. I know uh, some of them need a. Ah, I need like some whatever the, you know cleaning, you know, supplies for my letters yeah. or uh, just really things that are not considered right now. A lot of people are maybe not thinking about them, but as we settle into this new norm, um, then people need to buy the same things that they would normally buy. That's it. Yep. And of yep. course, food and other, you know, the nice things that you want. Here in Austin, there's even like some, some <laughs> businesses jumped on it and say yeah just order your mexican food to go and include some margaritas <laughs> to go yeah yeah sure, like, sure. wow the, the family night specials you know a, a yeah. bottle of wine with every pizza or something along those lines yeah, yeah but in, 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 yeah, and, then, and the rules are being you know again a little lax in some places where it wasn't possible and they can now do it um yeah so um yeah i don't i'm not sure how it's happening here either <laughs> but it is um, uh, you know, they I, had, uh, you know, so if, uh, yeah. a, a, any, uh restaurants, especially, um, <clears throat> rely, I mean, they, they people would assume yeah. that food sales and I said, actually the restaurants themselves, like sit down restaurants, really alcohol sales is where a lot of many of these restaurants right. rely on their, you know, where their right. margins are. Um, right. and if they couldn't adapt that into their strategy somehow, so obviously, you know, right. uh, the rules around, you know, selling and or walking out with, 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 you know, alcoholic beverages certainly were lifted or, or relaxed a little bit so the business, yeah. businesses could stay alive. Because many of these, yeah. I'm watching many businesses just, I don't know if they're ever going to come back from this, you know, and, it, and it's yeah. scary to think that. But as you said, if, if, if there's one thing that people need to start focusing on right now, at least business owners, small business owners, local business owners, um, if you're in the middle of thinking about getting online is to do it yeah. um, and to do it now and in the right way and um, hopefully after all this is said and done we can see a, a big surge in small business growth again after it's all yeah do we get the hell out of I our hope, houses right <laughs> i should hope that yeah i should hope that because um, i don't want my yeah i don't want my local uh group up you know pizzeria to to go under I, I really there you go like them you know? yeah <laughs> so only, only good pizza in town is your favorite place right <laughs> yeah i really like them so um yeah, I mean, um, I would like to encourage anyone that uh, 
that gets to see this uh, to contact me, uh, my LinkedIn, um, which I should probably add to the document because I don't think it's there. Um, I'll put it, in, email. put it in the description and we'll post yeah. it out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, because uh, they may just have feedback, um, questions that help me expand this. So like if we look at this as a, like a, like a big FAQs, you know, then I can, I can, I mean, it's a Google doc. I can edit it on the fly um, and just expand on it. If it helps more people or condense it, maybe sometimes people go like, it's a little much. Is there anything that I can do without, you know? Yeah. I'd say more, that honestly, yeah. at this point is like more is more at this, point. you know, I think I, especially for e-commerce, the, the, the more information you can provide, the better equipped yeah. people will be in the long run. Yeah. Um, but I think uh, if someone were to follow it um, strictly, I, I guarantee they could get a store going uh, quickly and it'll be a good store. It'll be something that they can use to sell reliably. These are all proven solutions. Um, like the concerns about payment processing and fraud and all that are legitimate, mm -hmm. but also these are all solid solutions. So um, that's my job. <laughs> I can't recommend solutions that are not you know, right, right. safe or reliable. These are, yeah, this, this is, this is good. Don't, don't, this is great. I love it. The, but don't do it. <laughs> like, <laughs> use this, but don't use it. You know, yeah, kind of like, yeah, no, that wouldn't, that wouldn't <laughs> help. So, um, yeah, man. thank you so much for the opportunity to propagate. Yeah, this. no, no, thank um, you so much for joining me. This so was awesome. Um, I think, right. it's, I, you know, I think our audience is going to love this. Everybody out there, um, I, yeah, I'll have a wonderful afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are. You know, Nando, you yeah. yourself as well over in Austin. Um, I know you should be coming up with some beautiful weather. It's looking a little rainy on this side, but it's uh, it's it's going to help my lawn certainly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to basically rebuild yeah. my lawn at this point. This is a big <laughs> big COVID nineteen project here is rebuild Tony's lawn. Um, <laughs> but thank you so much for joining me. Um, everybody, if you're watching, if you're getting to this point, please check out the description for all of Nando's information and a link to that checklist so you can start using it to go online, be online, stay online, whatever it might be. Yeah. All right, all right Nando, you have a great you. one and enjoy the rest of your day. If you, uh, if you need anything, you need any help with anything, you can always reach out to me. All right. Thank you. Same here. All right. Bye-bye.